and if you are a returning watcher or subscriber welcome back so i'm just gonna give you guys the rundown for today's video um i'm just gonna be doing a few days in my life as a junior in college i'm a criminal justice major i am 20 years old and i go to indiana university the iu campus um today is tuesday i didn't record yesterday because it was labor day but i don't have class on mondays anyways and i also don't have class on fridays so i kind of have like a four-day weekend basically but I am about to head to class. I have to go to my analytics class today at one. I commute back and forth to my university. So it's about 30 to 35 minutes. Um, so I'm gonna head out in a few minutes. It's 10.51. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and head out. Um, really quickly, I'll show you guys my outfit. So I just have on like this little black top and I have on these cargo shorts and I decided to be jazzy today and I just have on like these little platform sandals. Um, they're actually really comfortable. So so yeah, today's agenda. Um, I just have one class today and then after class, I'm gonna go to yoga with my good friend um we have yoga we do yoga on tuesdays i'm trying to be more consistent <laughs> with um yoga tuesdays because sometimes i'll go and then like i'll stop going and then i'll start again so i'm trying to be a little bit more consistent but i'm also proud of myself because i actually worked out this morning i woke up at eight um yeah i woke up at eight so yeah, there's that. Um, I got my change of clothes and my yoga mat in my backpack because yoga starts at six. So being that I don't really live close to school, I think it would just make like the most sense to just stay at school. But then again, it also depends on how I feel. Like if I feel like coming home, then I'll come home and then I'll go back out there. But that's literally just so much gas. But I don't have class on Wednesday, so maybe I could make I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Only reason why I don't have class on Wednesday is because my professor canceled class. Um, apparently, there's something wrong with her son and she won't be able to come to class. Why am I putting my glasses on? I literally have contacts in. So actually, I think I'll probably just come home and then go back because I really don't. Well, would that make sense? I don't know. I just don't feel like staying. So I'll probably go back home, if I'm being honest. I'm on campus now and it's 11.38. I literally just almost saw somebody get hit. And I'm like, dude, literally walking, cause like my, my university is like downtown, it's in the city. So like walking around out here is just so dangerous, like as a student, cause people do not care. And I feel like there's just really no reason to be speeding when you know you're like, on a campus because dude like you see students walking and like the speed limit is literally 25 like get it together but anyways yeah i'm on campus now and i'm about to um pull into my parking garage in a second and try to find some parking hopefully it's a little better because it's week three now typically on the first two weeks it's packed in the parking garage because everybody's trying to be studious trying to act like new year new me i'm gonna come to class but then like after about the third week it kind of tends to like slow down okay there we go thank you and plus on the first two weeks 
you don't need like a pass to get into the garage like you can just park here like for free and i think that's part of the reason why it's always so full because people know they can park free on like the first two weeks but on the third week have to have a pass so hopefully i can find a spot and i'm not like all the way at the top because that's like ridiculous but anyways yeah i have analytics today just my one class that class is from 1 to 250 it's a long class but it is what it is i'm not even going to complain about it anymore <laughs> like i've complained about it for like the first two weeks but and i said i was gonna like not drop the class but i was gonna get like a different like section so that like the hours would be different but i just kept it the way it was class doesn't start till um one so i'm probably just gonna like chill at the library I've been moving calm, don't start on trouble Try to keep it peaceful, it's a struggle I just got out of class and class went cool um, We have a quiz next class and then next week we have an exam Yesterday I literally spent my whole entire day um, I spent my whole entire day doing my math homework And by the time I was done, it was like nighttime And I'm like, I'm not doing any more work today so that kind of sucks, but I got all my math homework done because I know that we have a quiz and an exam coming up. So like, I genuinely did not feel like having to get my homework done and review. I just want to review, I don't want to do my homework. So I did all of my homework for my math class. And then after that, I didn't do anything yesterday. And then I'm going home so that I can get my change of clothes and my yoga mat. At first I was just going to, at first I was just gonna stay on campus until yoga. Y'all, it's three o'clock, yoga doesn't start till six. I just don't think I could, I couldn't have sat here this long. So I'm just, yeah, gonna go ahead and go home and get my stuff. I'm back on my side of town now. I was all the way downtown, which is like 35 minutes from home. So I'm back on like my side of town now and i was just gonna go home but i am starving okay famished depleted <laughs> yeah i'm really hungry so um i'm gonna run to probably qdoba that's not even really what i want but i don't want anything else nothing really sounds appetizing and yeah you can't go wrong with a bowl it's just what i'm gonna go ahead and run up to um nibble on that get changed for yoga and then by the time i do all of that i should be on my way to yoga i just don't want this vlog to be long so i'm trying to figure out how can i get everything i want in the video in the video without it being like 50 million hours long is it because i talk too much because normally when I'm doing something, I just time lapse it. So I don't understand what's making my video so long. So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to go to Qdoba and we'll be back. Okay, guys. So I chowed down on my food for a little bit. Of course, I didn't eat it all, which I never really finish a Qdoba bowl in one setting. Because Qdoba puts a lot in their bowls. So it's like if you... I don't think I've ever finished a Q-Double Bowl all in one setting. I don't know if I said this, but I took my makeup off because after so long, my makeup doesn't even look matte anymore. It looks dewy. And I don't like doing makeup on me. So, yeah, but here's the outfit. Um, Yeah, I just have on this, like, cute little um one piece and then i have on these slides from target i'm about to head out actually really quickly before i go i need to put my taser in my purse normally i keep it in my backpack but um i'm not taking my backpack because i'm not going to class but i'm gonna go ahead and transfer that to the purse because ladies we must stay protected at all times like um seeing that story about that young woman who got hit in the side of her head with a brick because she rejected a guy literally makes me so sick to my stomach i've always known that guys tend to get pretty upset when you reject them but the fact that a man threw a brick at the side of a woman's face because 
he couldn't have her number or whatever the situation is is just sick it makes me want to like cry just like thinking about it because imagine if that was yourself your mom sister aunt whoever like that's so sad and it's so scary it's just really sickening it's sad that like we feel like we're obligated to entertain men that we're not even remotely interested in just so that we don't die like the amount of times I've had to do that personally just because I'm scared of the outcome of saying no is honestly so sad like women just we can't say no you know but bringing my taser I also have mace and like a little pocket knife this girl don't play but I'm about to head out. Tell me how to have seen her. It was about five minutes ago. When I seen her, how to shake that a young and never seen before. I say, Hell, tell the girl I'm gonna meet her. On second time, that ain't the way to go. I gotta give her game proper. Spit it so she get it. There she is, I gotta stop her. Or should I talk about a smile? I'm out of time. She's out the door. I gotta go for mine. Or should I talk about a smile? Or what about a style? I'm out of time. She's out the door. I gotta go for mine. Cause I don't see you. footage because like where me and my friends were sitting the way like me and my friends were sitting like I didn't want to record too much because it was like other people around me so I kind of sort of found like an angle that was like okay to record without getting like other people on camera but overall like I didn't get like that much footage but y'all every time I do yoga I literally be forgetting like I always forget how hard it is like yoga is not a joke it can be cutesy and fun but for the most part like you're really going to be like stretching your muscles and like pushing your body to like its capacity so i'm like really tired now if i'm being 100 percent honest but other than that it was good my friend was like sleep she said it was too much for her so she just laid down so but it was other people laying down i laid down for a little bit too because i'm like girl you're moving really fast water in the car so I'm so thirsty but um I told my friend I think I'll probably do every other day because I know that like she hosts not hosts but like she directs yoga sometimes so sometimes she's the teacher but it's like being that I live so far I'm like I don't know if I want to do this like do this drive back and forth like weekly and the only reason why I felt like doing it today was because I don't have to go tomorrow so I'm like I can go today but she was like if you but she was like if you go every other week then it's gonna get like harder Cause she's like if I go every other week and I miss like every other class I'm gonna be struggling because I guess class gets harder per week so I'm still trying to debate if like yoga is something that I want to commit to because child I live so far and I know I'm not gonna want to do it every Tuesday so but I'm about to go home um, I'm probably not gonna vlog when I get home because I'm tired for one and two I don't want this video to be too long, so yeah. Good morning, guys. It is now Wednesday and I don't have class today. I normally do have classes today, but like I said, my teacher, something's wrong with her son, so she has to be there for her son. But I'm about to go to the library. I'm dressed, I have my clothes under my robe, but like I just like wet my braids, so I didn't want to get like my clothes wet, but 
I'm bringing some snacks, two granola bars, and a Rice Krispie treat. Um, I have like nine assignments in my to-do list. I have a lot that I need to get done. All of my assignments are due on Sundays, so I don't have anything that I need to get turned in like urgently, like ASAP, but I don't want to be like doing too much homework. Like when the weekend comes, I want to have like most of it already done, if not all of it. I know I have a paper due, but it's only a one to two page paper. It's in my human sexuality class. We have to pick a sex researcher that we find interesting and write a paper about them. I forgot her name, but I picked the lady who like discovered the G spot or whatever. And I think that's like super dope. Like, hello, she discovered the G spot. Like, that's so cool. So, yeah, that's who I'm doing my paper about. Here's my outfit. Um, I'm just going to wear my Birkenstock clogs for my shoes. Um, I know it's like kind of chilly outside and the library is always pretty cold so I'm just gonna put this little cardigan on top and yeah so there's my outfit I feel really cute today but yeah so I have like a paper due and then I have just like a weekly assignment due in human sexuality and then I already did all of my analytics work I don't have time I don't have time for that like I literally got all of that done on Monday and then I have an assignment due in my diversity issues in criminal justice class I have an assignment due in theoretical foundations of criminal justice and I have assignment to do in using IT and public affairs but overall it's nothing that I can't handle I literally wouldn't trade criminal justice for the world like I literally cannot wait to be a lawyer even though like it's still kind of like far away I don't care like I'm so excited to become a lawyer um I want to be a criminal defense lawyer but the good thing about law is that once you get your JD you can literally practice whatever type of law you want whereas like when it comes to like being a doctor if you pick a certain specialty you have to stick to it you have to stay within that specialty unless you want to go back to school <laughs> so I feel like that's like one of the pros of um law you have so much wiggle room to like do other things and like explore other practices but yeah I don't know if I said that but I want to be a lawyer I'm gonna go to law school so there's that and yeah I'm taking five classes classes right now analytics diversity issues in criminal justice theoretical foundations of criminal justice using IT and public affairs and human sexuality human sexuality is like my gen ed course if you don't know what gen ed is it's basically like an elective you get to um i just took that class because i thought it was interesting and then all my other classes are required courses for my degree i'm about to head to the library try to get some work done i'm gonna go like do some shopping i have to pick up my stuff from bath and body works and then i'll probably just kind of like shop around the mall after that ladies and gentlemen there's something about this yeah. girl man destination and I haven't even updated you guys but basically like long story short um I just left the library um it's like almost it's one o'clock now so I got there at nine so I spent like basically like four hours there and I got a lot done my to-do list went from like nine to like six which is a lot to me because 
my assignments be taking time okay but that's how it is like as a criminal justice major like your assignments consist of like oops i'm gonna turn right up in here your assignments will consist of like a lot of reading and stuff so i need to straighten myself up make sure this lady isn't in my way okay worked on my assignments and not only that I also took like a lot of notes for like the lectures that I had to watch so I got a lot done um, but now as you can literally see behind me I'm at Bath and Body Works um, I don't think I'm gonna like buy anything in here I'm just picking up an order I bought some stuff online that I just need to like pick up because like I said Ansler pickup is free so that's what I'm about to do so let's run in here really quick are so cute like I think I may come back for these because these are so cute I just left the little um strip mall it's not even a little strip mall it's huge it's a whole mall like it has so much stuff um but I just left there and now I'm at this other like strip mall um it's like literally like a second from where I was just at and there's five below I always come to this side below best five below in Indiana per and then I'm also where can I park I'm also there's also a Marshalls which I went in here with my aunt one time and it was like really good stuff in there so I'm about to try Marshalls first and then I'm gonna try five below um I'm still in the process of redecorating my room so yeah I need to you know like try to get some more stuff i stopped like decorating for a little bit because i wasn't finding anything that i liked and i got burnt out because like i was buying so much at one time and my room is like really cute but it's just some more stuff that i want to get so marshall's first and then five below yeah so i'm in marshall's now and I got like a few things in my cart so far but like nothing too crazy like I thought I would like find more but I didn't like I got these makeup brushes some picture frames for my bathroom and like some other stuff down there but I feel like I'm gonna end up putting a lot of it back because I don't know like I want it but not that bad and I feel like if I don't want it that bad then I probably like don't need it because like the girlies on tiktok be acting like the marshals is like so good i don't know what marshals they're at but the one i met is like terrible <laughs> so nobody was gonna tell me that they have crocs for like 20 30 dollars like but i don't think i don't like any of these colors but that's still like pretty tight <laughs> this purse is really bad like so cute Carl. <laughs> All right, now I'm about to head to Five Below. Um, Marshall's wasn't like a huge fail, but it wasn't like a success either because they be on TikTok acting like they just got their whole life in Marshall's and I'm just like, I don't see it. But then again, I don't be buying the same stuff that they be buying, so I don't know. I'm gonna just give you guys a quick haul. I don't want this to be like too, too long. But I'm going to start off with what I got from Marshalls first. So I just got this like little picture frame to put in my bathroom because my bathroom is black and white. And I have picture frames in there, but they're like, they're just not the best. So I wanted to upgrade the picture frames and um, get put those in there. So I got that white one and then I got this cute black one. I think this one's my favorite. But I also got some socks. I've been needing like just some more like long socks to keep my feet warm. And I like these because they're just, I don't know, they're cute. I don't like how this one says blessed. I feel like it's kind of corny, but all the rest of them are really cute. And then I got another bundle of socks. And these are kind of like more like fall festive, like the leaves and stuff like that. And then these say grateful, which is pretty corny, but most of these are like really cute so i'm still gonna wear the ones that say grateful and blessed but still like they're not gonna be my favorites and then last thing i got from marshall's i just got this um 
Calvin Klein sports bra. I have like Calvin Klein underwear, but I don't have a sports bra. So I just wanted to get this. I thought it was really cute. You guys basically saw the shoe that I got from Journeys. It was so many shoes in there that I really wanted to get. Normally when I go to Journeys, I'll be like half of these are ugly, but I just got these gray um, Adidas, Adidas? <laughs> I got these gray New Balance sneakers. This is my second pair of New Balance. I like them because they're like gray and they're neutral and they're literally gonna go with everything, especially like my fall outfits. Like this shoe eats so bad and I've wanted this shoe for so long. And then I got more socks, like really, but these are just plain white and I need plain white socks because my plain white socks get dirty so fast and I don't know why because I literally only wear them when I put my shoes on and then when I come home I take them off immediately so that they don't get dirty but I just can't seem to keep them clean so typically I always have to like re-up. I went to five and below and I got like these little slippers. I have so many house shoes but I just love slippers like I feel like you can never have too many like house slippers so I got these and then lastly Bath and Body Works. I didn't like get anything while I was there but I did pick up my order literally all i got was like plugins like the little bulbs um i already have these that i haven't even used but typically whenever they go on sale i just get them anyways even though i haven't ran out because they're expensive when they're not on sale so i got wicked vanilla woods which is like a halloween scent and it has like spiders and stuff on the tag so you know that's like halloween themed and then and then I got sweater sweater weather, which is like one of their like fall pop like a fall favorite, I believe. So yeah, sweater weather. I got and then I got la and then lastly I just got two mahogany teakwood plugins because mahogany teakwood is like the best Bath and Body Works scent ever, I believe. And um, my my mahogany teakwood candle burned out, like it's down to the bottom so i said until i get another mahogany teakwood candle i'll have the plug in. so that's literally everything that i bought today i'm about to eat i got some chick-fil-a and y'all y'all need to try their new like caramel shake it is so good like i downed that whole thing in the car on the way home so freaking good but yeah, I'm about to eat my Chick-fil-A and I'm just going to chill. Um, I'm not going to film anymore for today. So today's Wednesday. So I will see you guys on Thursday. to go shopping and then I have a nail appointment later this evening at like six and then tomorrow I'm supposed to be like hanging out with my friend and stuff like that so I guess I could show you guys my little outfit really quickly uh you should definitely follow my Instagram to see all of my outfits and how I be styling them I'm gonna plug it somewhere today's fit is like really chill though um just have on this white bodysuit from where is this from I think I'm pretty sure it's from Forever 21. And then my shorts are H&M. And then this cardigan is Shein. And purse is Forever 21. And then I just have on my little cloggies. So yeah, pretty chill fit, but like still super cute. One thing about me, I know how to um, dress comfy, but still be like, fashionable like I promise you do not have to look like you don't love yourself to be comfortable like you should definitely invest in cute loungewear especially if you're going to college because you're not gonna feel like dressing up and putting on jeans every day but you can still like look presentable when you go to class you know and sorry it got kind of dark I'm turning off my lights but what's my scent of the day I'm wearing this perfect by Marc Jacobs here's my little perfume collection um I'm trying to like accumulate more 
and then I put my glasses on because I'm blind as a bat. Most of the time I wear my contacts, but I don't really feel like putting them in today. So yeah, I'm just gonna wear my glasses. I am about to head out. So I'm going to the shopping plaza that I go to all the time. <laughs> Like, I feel like I'll be going to the shopping plaza at least once in my videos, but um, I'm going to this shopping plaza that I love. It has so many stores that I like, but I'm not going to do too much shopping. Um, I just want to go to Bath and Body Works because um, their candles are like $12 right now, the three wick candles. And mind you, I have like a whole collection of them and there's like more like behind those but I just want newer ones and a lot of my candles are kind of like starting to get like burned like really low to the point where you can't light them anymore so I just need to get some more candles so that's literally all I want to do and then I need to go to five below and return these two things that I bought for my room I bought these led lights from five below and I don't know why I thought led lights from five below was a good idea because every time I buy stuff from Five Below that lights up, it sucks. So I'm returning them and I'm gonna get my $10 back. For some people it's just $10, but for me, I want my $10 back. So there's that. And then later today I have a nail appointment. I go like every two to three weeks, but it's been probably like four weeks maybe now. And the fill is kind of atrocious. So I miss my nail tech and I wanna get a fill in. So I'm doing that later this evening. Um, I just left Bath and Body Works and when I tell you well y'all saw the video but the bag is humongous but I did get like more candles than I planned on getting when I went in the murder there when I went in there um but like I just couldn't pass it up like three wick candles for $12 is such a steal and a lot of my candles are like literally kid you not burnt to the absolute bottom so, um, I definitely needed that. And now I'm at five below and I'm about to see if I can return this stuff. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure they do returns at five below. I mean, they should. And like a lot of their stuff isn't even like $5 anymore. Like they be taxing, like some of their stuff is like, they have like stuff for like $20 in there now but anyways I'm about to go in here and I'm gonna see if I can exchange I mean return this stuff because I don't want it so I just got a five below and actually I ended up getting $11 back instead of 10 so that's good she looked at me like I was crazy I don't really think she wanted to do the exchange because most of the time when people buy stuff from there that they don't like they probably just take the L and move on but I did not I didn't even show you guys what it was. It was like these LED lights that I wanted to put on my wall. And then when I put the batteries in the lights, they were not bright at all. It was so dim. So I returned them. And normally like I'd be quick to like lose my receipts or throw them away. But my parents literally always teach me keep your receipts for stuff like that. So I kept the receipt and I'm happy I returned it because child, I need my $11 back. But I'm gonna show y'all like, <laughs> this bag is humongous but so happy i got my candles so um i got like two fall i got like i got white gardenia i think um i've never had this candle before and i wanted to try something new it's like a floral scent um so i really like this i got this pumpkin spice latte mixed with twisted peppermint and it's a limited edition candle and it's fragrance notes is pumpkin spice espresso and peppermint which i love all of that so and look at how cute it is like hello it smells so amazing like i think i'm gonna wait till it actually hits fall to burn my fall candles though because in indiana it's still like fairly warm it's like in the 70s and then i literally hate when i park away from people and people come by me like go the away okay and then i got this strawberry pound cake candle i've had strawberry pound cake before but i like i got i picked this one up because i like the packaging on this one better best one of their best candles ever and then this candle that i got y'all it is amazing okay it's salted butterscotch here's the lid <laughs> but 
it is so good i've never even tried butterscotch but this smells amazing like if butterscotch tastes as good as it smells then i need to hop on that and then lastly y'all know i had to re-up on my mahogany teak wood except i be getting the intense one I haven't even finished burning the mahogany teakwood candle that I have now, but I just, I, I don't want to run out. So I got that one. So those are like all of my candles, period. And then I got me a pizza from this pizza place, Bella Pizzeria. It's in the shopping plaza and it's like New York style, I believe. It's like a really big slice with two breadsticks and the breadsticks are stuffed with pepperoni. I don't even know why I got pizza because me and my friend are literally going to like this pizza place tomorrow, but it's a deep dish pizza place. So, I mean, I didn't even think of that until now, but it's okay because New York style pizza and like Chicago deep dish is like night and day. So I'll be fine. Plus like they have other stuff, like if I decide that I don't want pizza, but there's that um so now i'm about to go home until it's time for my nail appointment at six and i'll catch up with you guys then hey guys it's like hours later and i am on my way to my nail appointment the salon that my nail tech works out of is literally like two minutes from my house I'm like really excited um my nail appointment was it was like last week or something like that i think but I like canceled it because I just didn't feel like going. But it's time, like they lifting. They're not lifting. My nails rarely ever lift with my nail tech, but it's just like, you know, the fill is coming up, you know? I am so sleepy and I have to finish writing a paper and then I have like one or two more assignments to do. So your girl is tired, but we need to get these nails done. This idiot behind me has been like riding my butt and they're literally turning into McDonald's. Like, that is so trifling. Like, McDonald's is not going anywhere. A thousand years from now, McDonald's is still going to be there. That's my biggest pet peeve on the road, like, riding my butt. Like, and I promise, like, riding people's butts isn't going to get you to your destination faster. It actually might get you to your destination in 20 million pieces. And why is it so packed over here? Yeah, here's the before. My nail tech knows how to keep a little secret. I don't wish for my success, I speak it. I caught a buzz and you did too, but you tweak it. I look like I've been getting money, how reek it. You smell me, that's LV. Here are the new nails. I just kind of wanted to do something like simple, if I'm being honest. So I'm about to head home, chow down, do my homework, and I'll pick up the vlog tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It's now Saturday. I'm with my brother, and we're at Dunkin' Donuts. We're just about to get some breakfast. And then I'm gonna go home and like do some homework because I went to sleep last night. And then later on, I'll be hanging out with my friend. Persian rugs, but she's from the Kuwait. Thought she was Persian love. Are we turning up? Are we wasting time? Girl, don't waste my time. You know I'm partying. I don't just wanna chill. I know you're